I'm Chef Tina Finesa and I'm cooking at the East of Maine kitchen right now, making a beautiful fall dish with a honey loaf squash stuffed with all the things from the garden. This is now your Brussels sprouts that I've shaved in pancetta oil, garlic, and shallots. So I just take the core out of the Brussels sprouts and then I just shave it with my knife so that it gives me the flavor of the Brussels sprouts but easy to eat and, then, and it's not like this big Brussels sprouts that's overcooked that we all kind of see around. So I'm just going to give that a nice toss, get it all wilted, make sure it's cooked again because after this I'm going to put some kale and Swiss chard from our garden as well. So that's the leaf of the Brussels sprouts and I just took the, the core out and then just shaved it. So I'll get a little bit of heat high up there, a bit of salt, fresh cracked black pepper. And then I'm just going to give it a squeeze of a lemon. Just brings out that Brussels sprouts and gives it a fresh tart flavor. I'm going to go ahead and marry my kale. I see it's almost there, it's wilted. I'm going to start to incorporate my kale with that. So I'm thinking of uh, the cooking time. So I don't want to wilt my Brussels sprouts too much because I have this beautiful Swiss chard, rainbow Swiss chard from the garden. Different kinds of kale. I chose all the three different kinds of kale we have. And now I want another squeeze of lemon for that kale. Kale and lemon, they're like a marriage. A touch of black pepper. I'm gonna hold off on the salt because we've been sauteing in that beautiful pancetta oil. Put that back here. I wanna wilt a bit of cranberries in there, just warm cranberries. Maybe a few dried cherries for surprise. I like cherries, so I'm going to put more. I like cranberries too, don't get me wrong. So now, I'm just wilting that kale. You, you want all that vitamin from the kale. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want to undercook it either. I want to warm up my beautiful roasted chestnuts. There you go. It's a nice balance of green, earthiness, the saltiness from the pancetta. There we go. I don't even need any liquid because I really want that almost a warm salad, you know, like a warm fall salad. Guess what? I think we're almost there because you know why? I want to add my pancetta back in. That is the crispy pancetta we started with. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, I put it all in. Yeah. And then, I have my blue cheese here. Today we have a Spanish blue. You can use whatever blue cheese you have in your fridge. And uh, my baby beets to garnish this dish.